Welcome to the DIEM cases. The DM cases are online simulation based modules which allow you to manage a typical, undifferentiated case in the emergency department. Realistically, you do not have to progress in a typical textbook linear pattern of obtaining first an entire history, then performing an exam, then ordering tests, and then administering treatments. You can do these in any order you want. The general layout of the simulation can be divided into different sections. First, at the bottom left, you will note a timer is running to add an element of time management. This will also allow us to list all of your actions in chronological order at the end of the case for you. Be efficient, yet thorough. The left-hand column is your general navigation menu. Here you can order IVs, give oxygen, attach patients to the monitor, you can ask various historical questions, you can also perform various parts of the physical exam. By clicking on the physical exam button, various rollover circles will appear over the patient. Roll over any of these circles to view or listen to any findings. Be sure that your computer audio is on. Looking back to the left column again, you can order diagnostics designated as the orange buttons, which include lab tests, imaging studies, and electrocardiograms. The green buttons designate interventions that you can do. This includes giving IV or oral medications, IV fluids, and doing procedures. Moving down the column, the yellow buttons should be selected once you are ready to start making disposition decisions. Send the patient home, get a consult, or admit the patient. And the last button in the column is the results button. Select this when you are ready to view tests which are back. Now, shifting gears, looking at the top row of the screen, you will see the patient's most updated vital signs. That means blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate, O2 saturation, and temperature. You can check these vitals whenever you want by clicking the Check Vitals button. You also see the patient's general appearance here. And finally, there are three general text box areas. The first is located just under the patient diagrams. Here, there will be a running log of your actions listed, such as ordering medications or tests. The text box to the right of the patient diagrams will list any dialogue from the nurses, technicians, or physicians, and the text box in the bottom right area will alert you in red text when results are ready. Note that tests take some time to run, like in reality. When results are ready, click on the pink results button in the left column. Once you have made your final disposition plan, the timed component of the case will end. You will next be asked to write up the chart, the patient's past medical history, meds, allergies, social history, and lab test results will automatically be input into the chart. What you will need to do is to type in the history of present illness, review of systems, physical exam, ED course, and the assessment and plan. You may need to take notes during the case to help with your write-up. After completion of the entire module, the timeline of your actions and whether you performed the critical actions for the case will be emailed to you. Good luck, and we look forward to hearing your feedback.